Hey, Danhausen, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear Danhausen? Hey, look at that, holy hey. mother of God, look what we've done here. Mother Phil of Phil Timehausen, that's, uh, that's Hello, what we're Dan doing. Hello, Danhausen. Hello, how are you? Well, I'm doing great, how are you? Pretty good, we're figuring out this uh, microphone situation, yes? Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Well, it is all right now, Danhausen can hear you. He's going to turn you up there so he can hear you a little better. Oh, very good. Hey, Danhausen, I uh, I have I have uh, heard that you broke a leg. Is that true? Yes, look at this, Ole. Maybe you can see the crutches. I, I can't see hey. the crutches. Well, I can see the crutches. Yeah, I can see well, the crutches. Well, you can see what, the crutches. It's because you're in a whale suit. <laughs> well, I, I, I have eyes. What, uh, what ah. happened to your leg? Yes, so... Uh, it was broken in half, snapped in two. The doctor said it was a tibia and a fibia. It was no fun. Danhausen heard it pop, thought it was his ankle. And then Warhorse took him to the hospital. And then the doctor said, no, it is uh, right in the middle of your leg. So now Danhausen has a metal rod in it, and he's recovering. Now, uh, uh, I'm a whale and not a doctor, but is it not a fibula and not a fibia? A fibula? Well, I know. Perhaps what? the doctor lied to Dan Well, he may. He sounds like he may have. Oh. So, so what well, we did, should what get our money back. Uh, yeah, well, absolutely, you should get your money back. What did the doctor say about your recovery timetable? So, did not give Dan Housen an exact timetable, but Dan Housen's going in actually a week from today, uh, it, in the morning, and he should get an updated diagnosis where he can put full weight on it, which will be quite nice, because then we can start doing... Uh, PT and all of those sorts of things to get back into the ring. So hopefully not too long. Dan Housen is hoping for a uh, February or so. Has this been the most major injury in the career of Dan Housen? Oh, yes, absolutely. Dan Housen's only had, uh, I think he broke his nose once, but who would know? Everyone what? breaks their nose like every five minutes in wrestling. And uh, yes, this is the only time Dan Housen's had a major injury. So that's pretty good. It's been about nine years. Hey, uh, uh, Dan Housen, this is Oreo here. Oh, hi. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a whale. I don't have a lot of sources, but uh, I was told that uh, the man who broke your nose was Colt Cabana. Is that true? Colt Cabana broke Dan Housen's nose? Is that true? No, that's not true. Who told you such things? Oh, I, I have sources in the, uh, in, the, in the business. Who broke your nose then? What was it? It was in a match at... Uh... Where, where was this? When I get here, it was at AIW, but then I just don't remember who did it. I think it was in a scramble of some sort. Mm. It was like two years ago. Two Three years, years ago. Maybe. Two years ago. So, right, so, so Dan Housen, the, the way that your uh, leg was broken, I mean, is it, yes. uh, is it like that clean break where they say you'll come back 100% or was it a little more complicated than that? Oh, no. Clean break right down the middle. So mm. he's also got the rod place. So the doctor says it's just going to heal fine. So Said it would be just fine, just uh, the rod holds the bones in place while they mend back together Wolverine style. Mm. So do they do they take the the rod out later? No, it stays in, he believes. So Dan Housen plans on using it as a finishing maneuver, maybe. Be a legal way to hit people with a metal rod. Ooh, you know, so, it's amazing, so. Dan Housen. You were booked for a lot of things going on, and some people would get injured, and they wouldn't show up for these types of things, but you seem to be going out and doing every last appearance that you possibly can, even though you have to get around sometimes in a in a wheelchair right there, that very evil wheelchair that you're using. Uh, where have you been? I saw the, the video blog. You went to Russell Cade. How has it been oh, being yes. on the road with your injury? That was quite nice. Dan Housen went to wrestle Katie. He's trying to do the ones where he can do appearances and just meet fans, not have to do uh, too much. We did, uh, what was it, Mondo Lucha in Milwaukee, where Dan Housen went out uh, to the stage. He introduced War Horse as his replacement. That was nice. Uh, we did wrestle Katie, but of course, Dan Housen met uh, his favorite wrestling tag team, FTR. That was wonderful. He met a bunch of other people as well. Uh, what did we have coming up? We've got, uh, oh, we got Final Battle. Going to stick with that, I suppose. suppose we're going to do that. Uh, oh, this weekend, Dan Housen's going to C2E2 with uh, CM Punk. It's going to be at the Pro Wrestling Tees booth. Oh, with CM Punk for uh, Friday and C2 Sunday. C2E2? What is that? It is the Chicago Expo Convention Expo, I think. Yes, that'll do. Ah. Interesting. It is, it's just a bigger celebrity fest. People go there. They meet fans. Uh, fans go there, rather. 
They meet their, uh, the celebrities. The celebrities sign photos and take photos of them. I think AEW has a table there as well. Interesting. Dan Housen, I mean, it, it's hard to deny that you, you are one of the most marketable people uh, on the indie scene or really anywhere in professional wrestling and zombiesailor.com you have action figures that are available for sale and you know for anybody that may be missing out on seeing Danhausen wrestle they can actually bring Danhausen into their own homes and actually wrestle about with these figures correct yes it's right here on the screen can you see it well if our producer would get it there it is hey. yes there it is this is the prototype i has been sent it he brought it on uh, this is available probably until Friday, maybe at midnight, but do not wait until midnight just in case. They went up at 10 a.m. on Friday, and it ends on Friday, so it could end at 10 a.m., who knows. But you can go to zombieseller.com. Dan Housen is the number one seller right now. He surpassed a beat. Jeff Jarrett was the number one. Beat him in a few hours. Jeff Dan Housen Jarrett. Surpassed. Jeff Jarrett? Wow. Yes. Hey, you so, know... You go there, you, know, you buy it, or you be cursed. Yeah, you know, doesn't have any dolls. I don't believe those ass boys down in the A&W have any of those. Uh, have any of those. What has been going on with the with the Billy Gunn family and these these young ass boys who you seem to keep running into? Mike, and... you can't say ass boys on the air. Well, our, our, no, our... it's fine. It's the last name. Yes, yes. This is this is all it's, how it is. You see, it is, a, it is, his name is Billy Gunn Ass. So... Because you remember in the late 90s, he wore underwear that had his last name on them. It said Mr. Ass. So, these uh, ass boys, Dan House is just trying to get them to embrace the family name. Gets them more popular on television. He'd worked for their father many years ago. Embrace the ass? Yes, yes, exactly. Do it. Mm. He even had a finishing maneuver called the Fame Asser because he's so famous because of his last name. <laughs> he did have a Fame Asser. That is, that is true. Hey, Dan House, before we get to the ass boys... Uh, a lot yes. of uh, wrestlers in this industry get injured, and they put up GoFundMe's. Do you have anything of that nature? We did. Yeah, it was successfully funded, so it helped out Dan Housen quite a bit. Dan Housen still has bills that just keep randomly showing up in the mail, which is quite menacing. How uh, could Oreo help but you? It... What is this? How could Oreo help you now if the GoFundMe has ended? Oh, so we're just going to prowrestlingtees.com slash Danhausen. He's been helping quite a bit. Danhausen has been a number one seller there for quite some time. Very good. So to do that, do cameos, do Patreon. Patreon.com slash love that Danhausen is one wonderful way to support Danhausen directly because he puts tons of bonus content on there. Danhausen, I got to ask content? with the kid. Uh, let me ask this. Let me ask Danhausen. Oh, what kind of bonus sure. content do you have on this oh. Patreon? Oh, wow. Well, Danhausen's glad you asked. Uh, sometimes he'll put up a, a big cartel store up there about an hour before public and then things sell out to the Patreon. Uh, but he's got a cooking show. He has a, uh, interview show where he interviews the likes of Chris Judas, Rene Paquette, so on and so forth. And that goes exclusively up there for many, many months. Uh, what else we got? We got a review show and we've got the movie review show. The other review show is a food review. So what do you so lots of bonus Dan Housen content on there. What do you review Video on content. your review show? For which one? The food? No, the non-food. Oh, the non-food. So we reviewed movies. So we did Home Alone for Halloween because it's a scary movie. Mm. that has burglars in it. And then he tortures them. So we did that one. What else have we done? Aliens. It's a great film. Have you ever seen it? Uh, no. I mean, I'm a whale. But it's pretty good. You should get it. Uh, have you ever Jaws, thought about actually. watching You've Free Willy? have seen that movie. Have, have you ever thought about watching Free Willy and reviewing that? No, we did Jaws. Jaws oh. is enough. That's too much underwater. Yeah. Seems a lot of these. You don't want to scary. saturate the market. Yeah. Well, Danhausen, listen, stand by in for one second. We're going to come back and talk more about this wrestling after the break. Sound good? Yes. All right. Back in a moment. Observer Live. Everybody, back on the show here. I'm Oreo Yorka, joined by Mike Sempervivi and Danhausen. Say hello, Danhausen. Hello. I have an announcement to make here. Are you all ready? Yes. Okay, well, I'm a whale. I don't watch a lot of wrestling, but I've seen Dan Housen in uh, all sorts of different places. I like this guy, and he's injured. Now, the reason that I am here today is because our Twitch homies raised over $1,000 to get me to co-host the show today in place of Brian. So, therefore, here's what I'm going to do. If you go to Brian's Twitter, at Brian Alvarez... The GoFundMe link to raise money for Oreo is still there. 
For every dollar that gets raised in the next 20 minutes, I will donate the equivalent amount of money to Danhausen. Hey. So your wow. money will go twice as far. If we raise $500 for Whale Scout, I will give $500 to Danhausen. Out of Brian's money, by the way, not my own. Does that sound good? Oh. Yeah. Sounds pretty good to Danhausen. Yeah, so go to my Twitter right now, at Brian Alvarez. Donate to Whale Scout is a registered 501c3 nonprofit. Every dollar raised in the next 20 minutes, I will donate an equivalent amount to Danhausen. You can support two things with one yes, two at once. donation. The black yes. and white connection. Unbelievable, yes, like dominoes. Yes. We don't like people well, breaking their you, legs, uh, Dan Mr. Housen. Whale. Yeah. You know, Dan Housen, if you were a whale, you wouldn't have broken your leg. This is true because whales don't have legs. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Dan Housen, you mentioned that FTR was your favorite tag team. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What do you love about them? They're evil? Sure. They are evil. And they also, they're very nice because they follow the rules. They hold that little tag rope in the corner. So you ah. like them because they are evil and they follow the rules? Yes, it's exactly what Danhausen does. He's very evil, but he does not break the rules. Hmm. What is it about that tag rope? Because obviously FTR stands for feel the rope, if I'm not mistaken. So what is it about the tag follow rope the that rules. makes it? Ma follow, follow the rules. Follow the rules. Yes. Makes it, what is it about the tag rope? What is it about the rules that makes Dan Housen, a very evil man, feel so good about, uh, about things? Well, what is it about the rules that makes Dan Housen happy? Well, because then they can't disqualify you and take away your money. Oh, yeah, good point yes. there. Yeah. You have really actually got this business figured out. Tag rope, the referee cannot yell at you. Disqualify you, toss you out. When you were a little boy, I presume you were a little evil boy once, because most little boys are evil. Yes. What yes. was your? What did you enjoy watching in professional wrestling? Who were your favorite wrestlers? What did you grow up watching as a little evil man? So Dan Housen's first wrestling memory one was the New Age Outlaws throwing Texas Chainsaw Massacre Charlie off the apron. Or what is it? The stage with uh, Cactus Jack. They pushed him off. Chainsaw Charlie, and. Uh, 900 that times in that episode. So, who remembers that? But also Kane ripping off the door when he debuted. Oh, at the he Hell in a Cell 1997, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker, a five-star classic. That's bad blood. Yes, it is one of Dan Housen's favorite matches of all time. Yes. How old were you, Dan Housen, when that match took place? Oh, about, uh, what was that, 1997, so about 700 years old. Oh, my yes. lord. You know, now, when, you know, some little math. Who knows? Well, when you were much younger and and, and, and much, you know, a, a younger type of evil, did you ever think of wanting to work, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know, a, a human type of gimmick? There's all these gimmicks in wrestling, and obviously you are an authentic evil person, but did you ever think about wanting to be, I don't know, Ric Flair or, 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 or Hulk Hogan or somebody like that? Or did you always know that you wanted to be the very evil Danhausen in pro wrestling? Oh, well, Danhausen liked that uh, Cold Steve, Cold Steve Austin. He was pretty good, but Danhausen did not want to shave his head bald to look just like him. So, went with the evil route. Seemed to be easier, more natural for Danhausen, and uh, more authentic. Probably better on your liver, too. Oh, yes, probably so. He, well, you know, he misses most of it. He does not seem to be paying attention when he drinks those cans. That's a good point. Well, Dan Housen, what did you tell your, your parents when you were an uh, evil little boy? I mean, did you always want to be a wrestler since you saw that bad blood match? Or did you think, you know, perhaps I'll drive a taxi or work at uh, Applebee's? What were your, what were your yeah. aspirations growing up? Well, Dan Housen's not evil enough to work at Applebee's. That place is gross. Uh, the appetizers are not very good. But no, anyways, Dan Housen dressed as... Uh, his parents dressed Dan Housen as Kane, little mini Kane, in 1998, I think it was. Dan Housen's uh, father made Dan Housen a custom costume, just like Kane, and he went to school that way. He had a wig and everything, which was quite <laughs> wonderful. I believe it was made from red, red sweatpants. So that was pretty good. Uh, Dan Housen did not want to be a taxi cab driver because he does not live in New York City, and that's where you do that. Uh, but yes, he just wanted to be a wrestler. Did, did Dan Housen go to school just in case this wrestling thing didn't work out for him? 
Dan Housen tried going to Hubin College for about what? A year or two? He did not like it. He said, this is not for me. <laughs> and then wow. he threw it out and never looked back. You know, Except Dan Housen... Bill, so I suppose he does look back. Uh, yes, the, the original host of the show, Brian Alvarez, he did the exact same thing. He went to community college for one and a half years and also decided it was not for him, and he got the hell out. It, it is like paying for high school. It is horrible. A waste of time. 13th grade. Yes. 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 You know, and Brian took karate like when he was in, in the community college. A lot of karate and creative writing. And after that, it was like, I don't need any more. Uh, Dan Housen had history goes to the movies where they made him watch Gladiator, which is not real history, so that didn't make sense. Oh, that's worse than Applebee's. Yes. Also, one time Dan Housen had Dolph Ziggler's theme song as his alarm, and it went off in class. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, it's true. Dan Housen likes Dolph Ziggler. You like Dolph Ziggler? He's good matches. He has good matches. I will not deny yeah, that yeah, he has good all matches. All the ones with Kofi Kingston. Wonderful. Danhausen, who's the greatest wrestler that you've ever seen, besides yourself, of course, and, and Brian Alvarez? Oh, yes, the two. Uh, Danhausen's first Ring of Honor show he ever went to had uh, El Generico, Kevin Steen, uh, the Kings of Wrestling, the Briscoes. Who else? It was like the golden period with, like, Roderick Strong and everybody was there. Those were all pretty good. CM Punk and Brian Danielson, Danhausen saw them. Probably all of them. Dan Housen, what is on the short list of things that you want to accomplish when you get back in the ring? You know, do you, DJ, do you have ideas on I want to go to Japan or something like that? What is it that you want to accomplish here in the in the in the next in the recent in the near future here as a, as you come back from injury? Dan Housen must get back on television and take over television and continue his takeover of the world. What are you going to do when you take over the world? Just out of curiosity, because this world kind of sucks. Oh, that's true. So Dan Housen's going to make it not suck. Uh, he's going to take it over, switch make it a little better on TV, uh, have a nice time, and then take a nap, probably, because Dan Housen's very tired from working so much. Mm. Mm. Dan Housen, I know you got to run through a lot of different people and see a lot of people, and most people probably are happy to see you, but then you find those those older, crustier wrestlers that sometimes you run into them in, in different places. And Have you ever had a, a bad experience with a crusty old wrestler, like a, like a Brian Alvarez, for example, who's bitter and maybe oh. doesn't understand understand your genius and your evil? Oh, yes. Uh, Dan Housen actually has not even had to deal with that that much. Even... Uh... The Jim Cronit fellow, the Corvette man. He even likes Dan Housen, so he doesn't really have to deal with it too much. Jim Just Cornette don't likes Dan Housen? Yeah. Yes, he loves Dan Housen. Got to ask Lance Storm. He's a very stern man. I'm not sure what Lance Storm might think oh, about yes, Dan Housen. Him. Uh, yes, Dan Housen is you, almost universally beloved. Really? Is there anyone, Dan yes. Housen, that hates you? Oh, oh, Brian Johnson. He hates Dan Housen. Well. MMA fighter? No, 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 no. no. The, From Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. Bald fellow. Yes. Oh, that guy. It's probably one of the reasons he why. He's angry. He's bald. He like 39 times in that company in one month. My Lord. <laughs> well, why does he hate you? Probably because Dan Housen beat him at uh, Final Battle to win his contract at the company. They'll do it. Oh, he's holding a grudge? Yes, yes, yes. But, Dan you Housen. know, he's pretty good, so I suppose it's fine. Sure. Now, now, let me ask you a question. You may not know the answer to this, Dan Housen, but uh, let's say that you did not break your leg. Who do oh. you think you might have faced at final battle? Uh, Dalton Castle, probably. Oh. For that television championship. That's devastating. Yes. Well, Dan Housen doesn't know, but if he had to guess, that's what he would have wanted to do, at least. Mm. Yeah, Oreo likes this uh, Dalton Castle fella. Oh, he's quite good. He's amazing. Dan Housen was lucky enough to wrestle him at one of the pay-per-views a few months ago. Yes. Did you see the, the final battle commercial with Dalton Castle that went up earlier today? Yes, because you retweeted it, Dan Housen saw it, actually. I you did. missed that, it otherwise. I mean, Brian did, yes. Oh, Brian did, sorry, yes, not you. Yes. Brian did, rather. He's quite incredible, isn't he? He is, he is, and he has, uh, what is it, the chickens, the little bird people that hang out with the him. The little bird people, yes, yes, yes. The peacocks, is that right? Yes, Help I believe so. Like. They're quite impressive. Calls them the baby chickens, that's what it is. The baby chickens. The little yeah. chicks, yes. Who is Hopefully your, who is your Dan Hopefully he bounces back up on his feet after Dan the night. 
Dan Housing devastates him via whatever he's doing. Let, let's imagine that uh, you come back from your injury and you're a free agent and uh, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll uh, eliminate WWE from the, the question here because like that can, ain't going to happen. They don't let anybody do anything unless they're signed. But I mean, if you were a free agent, you could probably do stuff for AEW, New Japan, uh, Ring of Honor, whatever they end up becoming, and Impact Wrestling. Who is your dream opponent? Oh, man. This is a tough question because there's a list. There's a whole list of him. Uh, Dan Housen would really like to uh, wrestle or team with, obviously, CM Punk. Mm. Uh, there is MJF. That would be quite wonderful. He's very evil. Uh, Chris Judas. Dan mm. Housen owes one uh, with Corey Rhodes. And well, there's so many people. Yeah, uh, what else? What else? Who else could there be? You went on the cruise with Chris Jericho, correctly? Oh what? yes, it was wonderful. He invited Danhausen because he's so famous. Yeah, it's a lot of fun on that cruise, isn't it? Yes, you see, Danhausen saved Chris Judas at the end of it from the Chaos Project. Yes, I, I live on the water, so I know how much fun it is to be on the water. Yes, it was wonderful. Just you're on this boat, you're on the boat with everybody. Uh, it was great, great time for Danhausen. Are you going to go on the March uh, t uh, cruise with uh, uh, Jericho Judas? You'd have to ask uh, Chris Judas himself, but who knows? Dan Bro, Housing I would think if up. you saved him, you should be next in line to go on that boat. You would think, yes. Then I yeah, saved I him, the least he could do is put him on the boat. I would think that. Did you do any of the oh, mean also, dreams Dan for the two match, If he could come back and choose. Perhaps mm. you'll bring it up to him this weekend. It could uh, be Dan Housing, master of the GTS... And his good friend, CM Punk, who also does the GTS because Dan hasn't said, hey, you can use my finisher sometimes, versus uh, FTR. Did pretty good. Now, Dan Housen, I know we're, we're getting close on time here, but I've got to ask you, if if the only way that you could team with CM Punk is that you, you had to grow out a mustache to match the mustache of CM Punk's, the, the famous mustache that you had up in the video today, would you do yes. so? Would there be matching mustaches? Oh, yes, absolutely. If Dan Housen, they said, you need a mustache, Dan Housen will either, you know, he'll get a fake one or he'll draw one on or he'll grow it, depending on how long it takes, who knows. Uh, yes, we'll get both mustaches and we'll come back with a vengeance. Looks like it takes a while for you to grow a mustache, Dan Housen. Is that right? Yes, probably a couple of years at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian knows the, the gimmick. Stand by, everybody. Observer Live. Back here on the show, Ori the Orca, Mike Sempervivi, and the great Dan Housen. Hey, Hello. I want to thank all of the uh, Twitch homies and, uh, and Sports Byline listeners, folks watching on YouTube every day. $500 raised for Dan Housen. Hey! Hey! Oh, it's pretty good. Yes, love-hate relationship with uh, John here, who I think has donated about $1,000 to get me in the suit and raise money for Dan Housen. But thank you, John. I appreciate it. And Dan Housen, Dan we Housen got like a couple well. of... Yeah, we got like a minute left. Let's get some plugs in. Oh, you just want Dan Housen to shoot off some plugs? Shoot off them plugs. All right. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Dan Housen. Let's make Dan Housen the number one... Well, number two seller of the year because no one's beating CM Punk, let's be honest. Uh... Let's see, uh, cameo.com slash Danhausen. You can have Danhausen curse your bosses or enemies or whoever you want. Uh, Patreon.com slash love that Danhausen, where that is the best place to support Danhausen directly, where you get a ton of bonus content from Danhausen, such as videos and interviews and so on and so forth. And uh, YouTube.com slash love that Danhausen for some previews of that stuff and other things as well. Those are probably the best ways to support Danhausen. Also, there's only a couple days left, Friday, to go pre order this toy. It comes out quarter. Two of 2022, but it is quite wonderful. This is a prototype at zombiesailor.com. Well, that Dan Housen, like listen, it. we want to thank you so much for doing the show here today. We love you here on Wrestling Observer Live. It was a lot of fun to be oh, able yes. to have you on as a guest the day that I hosted the show. I really appreciate it. And of course, well, thank you for you. And we must make sure this gets 17 stars. Yeah, well, yeah, it's got 17 blowholes. That's what we agreed on earlier well, it's, today. That's pretty good. 17 blowholes. Thank you, Twitch homies. Thank you, everybody on YouTube. Thank you, everybody who donated to Whale Scout as well as Dan Housen. Thanks, Mike, Dan Housen, everybody in the studio. My main man, Dom. 
We'll talk to you next time. Wrestling Observer Live! Hey! Again, maybe it's just that as a Canadian who has always had health insurance, this doesn't seem... Max, smart enough to this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah. You are being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh, man. Oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.